For alteration number six, we're going to change where the arm joint is located. And that just means this underarm area right here, it might be too high, it might be too low. So how do we take this and move it? To do that, we're gonna do a very similar technique to the darts. I'm going to draw a box around the area that I want to move. I don't want to affect the darts though, so the line that I draw across on my box, I need to make sure that I avoid touching the darts. If I'm moving it down, make sure that this line is drawn high enough up close to this joint to allow for movement here. Here's the notch, this underarm notch. I'm going to make sure that the other part of my box is above it. The other thing is my horizontal line here. I don't wanna to have to deal with redrawing weird curves. So I'm gonna to come to this fairly flat part of the armhole to draw my other line. Remember, this is parallel to the grain line and these are perpendicular to the grain line. Everything has to do with the grain line. I'm cut that out. Fill it in with paper. and I'm gonna drop the armhole. Let's say I wanna drop it a quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch down along parallel to this cut line. I'm just gonna draw a line that's a quarter inch down from there. And then I can move that lowered armhole down. Tape it into place. Fill in all of the missing information. The reason why I did it in this flat area is because it was a really, it was really easy for me to redraw that information. You can hash out all of the parts that I don't need anymore. So it's no longer confusing. And perfect the sides. Cut off all the stuff that I don't need. and this alteration is finished. Um, this alteration affects another piece. It affects the sleeve. Doesn't affect any of this stuff down here, but this is where the sleeve cap gets sewn in. So for the next alteration, we'll be addressing the piece that gets affected by the arm joint length alteration. So what you need to pay attention to is how much you added right here. I added a quarter of an inch here. This also affects the back. So when I change, where's my back piece? When I change the front for the arm joint length, I've changed my side seam length and I've changed the length of the armhole. So if I do this alteration on the front, I also need to do it on the back in the exact same location. So remember, this alteration will affect three pieces. So do the front, do the back. You don't have to do this for the, for the assignment. You only need to do the front piece for, um, for number six. But just remember the rule. When I affect one piece, make sure that I also alter all of the pieces that are attached to that alteration.